Hello everyone, now I'm going to discuss the groups, the definition, characteristic, and the types of groups. These are the lessons for today's video. Introduction, Objectives, Growth Definition, Meaning and Concept, Group Psychology, Concept of Social Group, Last is Definition and Meaning of Group. The goal of this video is to define groups, explain the meaning of group, describe the characteristic of the group, elucidate or clarify the types of group, and explain individuals' behavior in group. Let's start with social group. So what is social group? A social group is a group of two or more people who interact with one another and who recognize themselves as a distinct social unit. Further, social groups play an important role in daily life. Social community, any group of human beings who are have recently been, are supposed to be in some form of interrelation. To designate several forms of human aggregation, the term group or social group has been used. Groups have been called aggregation of two members and aggregation that comprise the entire population of a large nation state. For example, of groups includes families, companies, circle of friends, clubs, local chapters of fraternities, and local religious. Renowned social psychologist Muzaffar Sharif formulated a technical definition of a social group. A social group is not always made up of friends, though friendship may develop within a group, families are a form of a social group in which we relate with parents, brothers, and sister and relatives. In this unit, we are going to learn about what are groups, describe their characteristic, and learn the various types of groups and their functions. All groups have certain roles to play and this will be taken up in this unit. Next is group, definition, meaning, and concept. From the very beginning of our life, humans are part of one group or the other. The same individual may be a member of different groups. He or she is a part of family, which is a family, from the moment an individual is born, starting from the relationship between mother and boy. We enter the family group, the peer community, the neighborhood, the group of social class, a religious culture, and so many others. We often identify ourselves with a culture and with a collective member of other classes. Behavior is the product of a complex combination of personal interests, attitudes, motives, beliefs, and aptitudes, with many formal and informal group memberships, identification, and loyalty. The word group has many meanings. Broadly speaking, we can say that a group is the aggregation of human beings. The member of a caste, the member of a club, and the member of a state are also called groups. Since we use the same word group to refer to various kinds of group, so there exists misunderstanding. Not only this, we only use the term group when we deal with a mere classification. When we do something in connection with a sample survey, we consider a number of people with varying age, gender, education, socioeconomic status so that we can easily understand the overall picture of the sample and also classify them in different groups. A group may have a strong influence upon the individual in that the individual gladly accepts the activities of the group. Group Psychology The study of group organizations and behaviors of the group is the concern of group psychology. It is a realm of psychology that explores the release of individual control within a group setting. Social organizational and group psychology are all powerful areas of study that look at the many factors that drive group behavior and the decision that a group makes. Many groups are formed based on strong religious or cultural tenets. The analysis of organizations and their behavior is group psychology. It is a field of psychology which explores the release within a group setting of individual control. All powerful fields of research are psychological, organizational, and group psychology, which look at the many factors that drive group action and the decisions taken up by a group. Concept of social group A social group consists of two or more people 
who interact with one another and who recognize themselves as a distinct social unit. The description is sufficiently simple but it has important impacts. Frequent contact leads individuals to share values and opinions. This similarity and the relation allow them to recognize one with the other. In turn, identification and attachment induce more regular stimulation and intense contact. Each group maintains its solidarity and identify vis-a-vis -vis all other cultures and social structures. Groups are among the most stable and enduring of social units. They are important both to their members and the to society at large. Now, the definitions and meaning of groups given by sociologists and social psychologists. Let's start with the sociologist R.M. Williams. Define group as a given aggregate of people playing interrelated roles and recognized by themselves or other as a unit of interactions. It can be mentioned here that a group is an aggregate of certain people. The group members' functions are interrelated. The group is classified as a team. Next is R.M. McClever. A renowned sociologist, McClever stated that, By group we mean any collection of social beings who enter into distinctive social relationship with one another. According to that concept, it is a clear that social relationships must occur among the individual members of a group. Next is David. A social psychologist, David defined a group as follows. A social psychological group is an organized system of two or more individuals who are interrelated so that the system performs some functions, has a standard set of the role relationship among its members, and has a set of norms that regulate the function of the group and each of its members meaning it is structured and coordinated in this concept community the people in the group communicate and interact with each other it has certain laws and regulations and expectations that must be met by all members of the group next is scratch crutchfield and balachi famous for their social psychological contribution the three social psychologists define psychological group as two or more persons who met the following conditions. This meaning also focuses not just on contact and engagement, but on the laws and norms. However, a popular philosophy among the members of the community is also stated. Last is Paulus Paul B. A sociologist, Paulus Paul defined group in the following words. A group consists of two or more interacting persons who share common goals, have a stable relationship, are somehow interdependent, and perceive that they are in fact part of a group. According to this definition, we may assume that there are individuals interact either directly or indirectly with one another. Beside this, in several ways, the group members are interdependent, not just this. They must be relatively secure in their partnership. The group members are interested in achieving the aims and the relationship can be arranged such that each member of the group execute the same or more or less identical task every time they meet. These are the needs. Need number one. Group member has to satisfy important psychological and social needs. So receiving affection and attention for attaining belongingness. Need number two, group members help to achieve the goal in a smooth and easy way. By working with others, you can perform the task well done alone. Need number three, group members can provide each other knowledge and information which is not available to collect independently. And lastly, need number four, group members help the individual to experience safety and security. These are the definition, characteristic, and the types of group. Thank you.